Now let's set up the Multimatic 200 for the MIG process using flux cord wire. A parameter chart and setup guide are inside the side door if you have setup questions. First, make sure your machine is powered off. Open the side door, then connect the MIG gun into the drive casting in the front of the machine. Flat areas at the end of the connection will help you properly index the gun so you can slide it completely into the casting. Make sure your gun is completely seated in the drive assembly to ensure adequate shielding gas coverage. Tighten the gun connection to the receptacle with a threaded side knob. Then, connect the control cable to the four-pin connection. Twist the collar to tighten. Then secure the cable to keep it out of the way of the internal drive components. While the machine is still off, plug in the drive lead into the negative receptacle and turn clockwise to tighten. Insert the work cable into the positive receptacle and turn clockwise to tighten. The machine is now set to DCEN or negative polarity. Remember, shielding gas is not required for flux core welding applications. Consult your local welding distributor to determine which flux core wire is best for your application. Now, change out the standard wire drive roll to a knurled drive roll designed for flux core welding. Read the stamp facing outward on the drive roll to make sure the groove matches the flux core wire diameter you're using. This drive roll is not included with the Multimatic 200. Then, push the drive roll in and turn it 90 degrees. Next, feed the wire through the inlet guide in the wire case and close the pressure lever. Note, the Multimatic 200 is designed to feed wire from the bottom of the spool. Select your process by choosing Flux Core on the control panel. Then, prepare the gun by removing the gun nozzle and contact tip. And turn your machine on. Now, hold the trigger of the gun and feed out wire until it is visible. Reinstall the contact tip and the nozzle, making sure you have the proper contact tip for the wire diameter you're using. Finally, check the drive roll pressure to ensure a trouble-free weld. Place your gun tip over an insulated surface like this wood block and feed the wire until it feeds consistently and curls on the wood without slipping. Adjust the tension as needed. Snip the wire off then close and latch the side door. Finally, select the wire diameter and material thickness if you're using the Auto Set Elite feature, or voltage and wire feed speed if you're using the manual mode to dial in your welding parameters. Setting up the Multimatic 200 to weld steel with flux core wire is as easy as that.